Hello everybody, it's Tim here again, here with another movie review, once again, outside, because honestly, it feels better outside out here than it does all cooped up in the house all the time doing reviews. And here, I'm here to do a review for It Chapter 2. Now, It Chapter 2 is the long-awaited sequel to It Chapter 1. It's been out for a while now, and this review is coming in kind of late. But, uh, I recently saw the film, and I gotta say, it's getting mixed, it's got, it got mixed reviews, and I can see why. It's kind of a mixed bag. The adult actors, although... Uh, most of them do pretty good, do good to great, except for the guy who plays Ben. He's pretty much the weakest of the cast, but he's not bad. He's okay. Um, and, uh, Skarsgård is back as Pennywise, and he does a great job here again. Once again, he's my favorite part of the movie. Bill Hader and the guy that plays, uh, um, what the hell, Eddie, uh, Jane, James Ransom, I believe, the guy from the Sinister movies. He's really good here. Those two are. They have great chemistry by the end. They're the characters I enjoyed pretty much the most out of the humans. James McAvoy did a, uh, was doing a decent enough job. I wasn't really binding him in, in, as adult Bill until he started doing the stutter again. Then I was like, well, okay, I can, I can kind of see it now. And James McAvoy's a great actor. All in all, I'd give this a solid three out of four. It's a good movie. I judge adaptations based upon the quality of the actual movies instead of comparing them constantly to the books. As a whole, this is a good film. It really doesn't add anything new that wasn't in the original uh, one with Tim Curry. It doesn't do anything different here. I mean, Stan still gets killed and Eddie still gets killed at the end. It's still pretty much the same there. And they do a much they do a much better job here with the giant spider at the end though because it has Pennywise's head on it, so it gives Skarsgård a lot of time to still act. And they pretty much defeat Pennywise at the end by. Well, uh, telling him that he really can't scare him anymore and he's pretty much nothing and they just pretty much bully him like he's been bullying them. And that takes him down just to, in, into a super small size because he's petrified and scared and weak now in his mind and, and they rip his heart out and he dies. And I like his last line before he croaked because, before he croaks because he's like, you guys look all grown up. Uh, that was good. The old lady scene here in the movie where uh, Beverly, played by Jessica Chastain, who does a, a good job here, goes to, uh, her old house and, um, this old lady's like, you know it's Pennywise though, but he's, she's like dancing around naked and then comes charging at her as this giant monster. It was in uh, the trailer and I believe and also in an early release clip. It's really good. The uh, There's a lot of the, the flashbacks to the child actors in this film, mostly because the first It didn't really set up for the the adult part. They were just kind of treating it as a one-off. Uh, and if it got a sequel, it got a sequel. But here they have to do flashbacks that kind of set up for phobias and stuff that they have here. And uh, I'll say this, problems with the film is it's just too long. This film could have easily been shortened. They should have took out a lot of the children stuff and just focused mostly on the adults. It's great to see the children back, though, and I get why they wanted to bring them back because the children in the first movie were a big reason, that and the 80s setting were a big reason of why that film did so well at the box office, and so they wanted to bring them back here. I get it from a financial standpoint. I get it, but there's too much of the kids here. Um, and you get some great scenes with Pennywise and everything through that throughout the movie that are really fun and entertaining. All in all, though, this film could have just been shorter. It's just way too long. And the ritual of Chud thing that they do in the movie, although interesting, really doesn't amount to anything at the end because it doesn't even work. So it just feels like it was a big waste of time the entire film. Uh, they gotta like sacrifice things that meant something to them so they can capture Pennywise in this Native American container thing. And it just... It's interesting and kind of fun for a while, but it just it goes on for a really long time, and in the end, it just it doesn't even work. It doesn't amount to anything. Um, and at the end of the movie, they got a flashback of the of the adults when they were kids, and they're all riding on their bikes together as a team and all that. Yeah, all in all, a solid good movie. I recommend it. Uh, it's a good film. It's not terrible, but it is a mixed bag. There's too many scenes with the kids from the first film, and the movie just goes on too long. This movie could easily easily been condensed um all the adult cast is fine the guy who plays ben he's just okay he was the weakest actor there and i believe he is a new actor i don't think i've ever seen him in anything else uh but yeah all in all it's it's a good flick i recommend you check it out if you like the first movie you'll probably enjoy this one it's worth watching but it's not anything to write home about uh so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you again